point of all of this has been that he raped me. I'm neutral in this. I'm posting this video without a bias. There was no coercion on my end. I was sent this video this morning. So without further ado, let's move to our content. And I'm here to clear the air once and for all, to put what needs to be at rest to rest. I have been harassed. I have been lied on. I have been picked on. And most importantly, I have been raped by someone who I thought I could trust. Someone who at a time I considered a friend, a colleague, someone that I would have invited to a Christmas party. Someone I really thought I could trust. God has other plans, and now is the time to speak out against the real King Buruho. This is not whose magic is stronger than whose contest, whose dick is bigger than whose contest. The point of all of this has been that he raped me. We have proof right here. I don't want to have to share this story, but I have to. Because I am tired of people, and I'm not going to just talk about men or women. I am tired of people getting away with things that they need to face. There's no way I would forgive this individual, and society would not either. And for all the other accounts that he has on his name from other previous relationships that he's had, in his past. The only thing that he can get now is absolution from God himself. I am tired, I'm tired of him believing he can drag my name through the mud without any precautions, without any repercussions for his actions. I deserve to be left alone and left to peace. Instead, he slanders my name he spreads lies. He says things that are not true. The only thing that is the matter, the only thing that is worthy of discussion is the fact that Jaquan Cooper assaulted and raped me. He took advantage of me when I was in a very unconscious state. There's nothing that can fix this or change what has happened to me because it has happened. And I wish every woman or any woman that comes in contact with this man that you are safe, that you are sound, that you can get away from him, get away from this happening to you. You can save yourself. I hate that I'm doing this. To admit to the world that someone like you got to hurt and take something away from me. And not only that, I've noticed that this person is actively trying to do work against me, trying to take away my happiness, my joy, my money. It's not working. And the only thing that I can do at this time is just be honest. I trusted you enough to let you in my home, to let you around my space trusted you enough to have conversations with you, trusted you enough to speak with you, to engage with you in any way. And how I was repaid was rape. As a woman, to engage with you in any way. And how I was repaid was rape. As a woman, it is tough. It's tough for everybody. But getting someone to believe that something happened to you, and a lot of people cry wolf, it's hard. No one wants to believe that it happened to you. Everyone will call you a liar. Everyone will say all these mean things on the internet, and I don't really care. 
There's nothing you guys can take away from me that hasn't been taken away already. There's nothing you can say to me that hasn't been said to me already. But I won't allow someone to continue to slander my name, to slander the hard work that I have put in into the spiritual community, to call me a fraud or call me a fake. I don't even wish to entertain it because my clients, my family, my community, they know otherwise. I pray for his soul. I pray that he can find it in himself to live with the things that he has done in his life and the choices that he has made because we all have to. I still pray for you. I pray for your soul every day. I don't, but I think that's just a good thing to say, right? I want to be left alone. And if I have to take matters further, more serious legal matters, I will. If you continue to defame my name, if you continue to lie on me, if you continue to parade around as if you did not cause damage in my life, that you did not alter my state of mind, that you did not destroy my self-confidence, destroy my self-worth. He wants to fight. I'm here to just deliver the truth. I'm here to save someone else from this pain, from this agony, the thing that you cannot change, the thing that cannot be undone. What Sam just done is done. I know I have real support out there. I know I do. I know people have came to my aid about this situation. I know people have been sharing this post that I have recently did today. And this is just for the purpose of educating people, of warning people, of doing what I should do as a good person in a community that cares about others because I can save someone else. I am a human being, I'm a woman, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a great friend, and I'm a great partner. I don't deserve what happened to me, and I pray this video lands in the right hands, at the right time, at the right place. To all my clients that have been with me, I love you dearly, and I thank you for all your support. To my family, to my friends. To everyone on the internet, I thank you in advance. This is a very tough thing to do, and I think anybody knows that, to share your story. Being very authentic. I cannot believe after someone did that to me, they will still continue to hide behind a screen and spread lies instead of facing their truth. That is all that I want to say at this time. And if someone wants to reach out to me for details, I will explain. However, I hope this video finds anyone well. The real King Blue Hole.